Hello fashion sewers, in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew a lining to a vent. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here we have a vent, this is the overlap and it's self facing and this is the underlap and I'm going to show you how to put the lining into the actual vent area in which will give you this beautiful finish. Now you usually find vents on skirts and jackets and coats and um, they're very effective to do especially if you want your garment to look very professional. Here we have a sample of a vent and you need to sew the vent of the garment first before you do the lining and there should be a link appearing now on how to sew a vent. Once you've sewn the vent you now need to sew the lining and you will find with some sewing patterns that the lining um, sewing pattern itself is going to be different from the actual skirt. As you can see I've got this shape here and this is for the actual facing of the actual lining which is the overlap and the other side which is the underlap will look that shape. Now you need to work on the wrong side of your garment, so I'm on the wrong side of my garment and the wrong side of the lining and we're going to be sewing the seams of the vent. So I'm working first of all with the underlap and I'm going to take the lining and match that up, pin and base, I'll just turn this around so I can better see what I'm doing. Pins in place. The pin there, and you're working with about six millimeter seam allowance. I'll just turn that back around so you can see, and then I'm going to flip the lining over so that I now have the seam for the overlap, and that is where it's going to be placed. So I'll just turn my work so that I can see what I'm doing, and make sure you line up all your pattern markings. I'm going to put some pins in place and then once I've done that I'll take it to my sew machine and show you how you sew it. Okay, that's pin in and there we have it. So it looks a bit awkward but um, you'll see how I'll sew it on the sewing machine. Before I actually start sewing on the machine, I just want to mention that you need to make sure that you stop at least 6mm away from the edge of your actual vent. This is so that you can sew a seam allowance all the way down to the end because there is a narrow seam for the actual lining. So I'll get that under it. I'm just going to take this pin out of the way so that I don't pin over it, sew over it I should say. And you, you, you're not starting right at the beginning of the actual seam itself. Pull my pins out and you're going to go straight down to the hemline. And then you're going to secure. Tap. Take your work out. So the first one is done show you beginning there and then the next step is to flip your work over so that you can start sewing the actual other side of the vent and you're going to be sewing it this way so that you can actually see what you're doing so remember we need to secure our stitching there is a bit of a curve here you just need to make sure that as you are sewing that you are coming around this curve so you need to make sure that you're working the actual fabric to the curve and stuff about there and then back tack your work so it 
looks like this at the moment. But it will all come clear as I show you how to put it into place. Just to recap, um, I'm just letting you know that the first seam that I actually sewn was the underlap seam. And remember it's six millimetres and um, you do need to stop when you're actually sewing the vent at least six millimetres away. And the next seam was the overlap and it's slightly curved but we are going to be cutting into that so that it lays um, really well and the garment doesn't look all bunched up. So what you then need to do, once you've pressed it, so I've actually pressed my um, lining away so it lies flat. The next thing to do is this hair area here which is the vent extension. So you need to pull the garment towards a hemline so that you can actually grab hold of the two seam edges of the vent. So the under one is the underlap here and the overlap is on top. So I'm going to grab those and put a pin in place. And you can see there's a bit of a little bit of a pulling here. And I'm going to get my scissors and just nip into there so that I can get that to lie a lot better so that there wouldn't be this bunching up when the actual lining is sewn. I may have to go back and visit to cut it a bit more. And the next step to do is to actually sew the lining vent extension here. Right, I'm now starting to sew from the actual lining towards the garment. That's going to be easier because I want to stop at this point here. You may need to cut into it a little bit, but let's get the seam sewn first. So you want to get as far into that corner matching up with the, the stitching that you first did. Right, think of there and back stitch. Okay, that's done. I'll turn that over to my work surface and show and show you how it looks. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be quite happy with that. Now you can see my row of stitching for the vent extension, and your lining should now match up with the seam of your garment and then you should have a beautifully covered vent area. So that's the self-facing vent, and that's the under vent, and if I turn it round, this is what you should have. Well, I hope you found that video tutorial helpful. It can be a little bit tricky working with the vent of a garment and especially working with the lining. The trick is the vent extension on the lining. If you can get that right, then you're on to a winner. If you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.